And welcome, 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 welcome back. Our next guest joins us with a preview of uh, their show with Healthy Living in the Bronx, airing on BronxNet. Let's take a look. Hi, everyone. I'm your host, Mary Ben Rose, and you're watching Healthy Living in the Bronx. And you're watching Healthy Living in the Bronx. And you're watching Healthy Living in the Bronx. Well, how does someone who may be struggling with self-love, what would you recommend for them to do to start really owning that space in their life? Well, there may be some healing that's necessary because if, if you're having a conversation around not feeling lovable, there can be things in your history that have contributed to that trauma, mm -hmm. physical trauma, emotional trauma that may need to be addressed. We, we, our subconscious is, is very powerful mm -hmm. and we can use tools like affirmation. So recently I got to hang out with you at your Zen Day conference, yes. which is a wellness conference. It was an amazing day. Zen Day is the first of its kind. It's a wellness conference for a woman of color, by a woman of color. We had a wonderful time. Oil cleansing method. I've seen this trend on Pinterest. <laughs> yes, I use Pinterest. <laughs> Don't judge me. It's not just for soccer moms, okay? <laughs> and um, like, what is an oil cleansing method? What is that? So the oil cleansing method is actually an ancient method of cleaning your face. It's and I hope to see you on the next episode of Healthy Living in the Bronx. There you go. Mary Ben Rose, producer and host of the show. You put together a fantastic show and you're educating people about the healthy eating, healthy living. Yes, it's definitely a team effort. So I have two guys that work with me, my associate producers of Prodigal Sun Media, uh -huh. um, Trevor and Edison. I couldn't do it without them. So yes, um, the show is something that I'm really, really proud of. That's good. And BronxNet got together and they helped you yes. put it all together, huh? Yes, they've definitely been a great support system. The reason I'm so passionate about the show, you may or may not know this, but the Bronx out of the 62 counties in New York State has been yeah. deemed the unhealthiest. Yeah. So I felt this show was very vital and necessary for our community. Um, what makes the show so unique is that we tackle topics, everything from healing from abusive relationships to why oh, our food okay. matters and demystifying acupuncture. You're doing mental health and everything. Huh? Yeah, so mental yeah. health, you know, fitness. Um, like one of my favorite episodes, we actually had a young woman come on. She's a licensed massage therapist. And in the middle of the interview, she revealed that she was actually a survivor of um, sexual assault as a child. Yeah. And I thought to myself, out of all the professions in the world, why a massage therapist? Because me, don't touch me, right? Yeah. After having such a traumatic experience. But she said she wanted to help women, especially women of color, reclaim their bodies. Yeah, so she went through, that was sort of therapeutic for her. Right? Yes. To bring it out live on TV, let mm -hmm. people know what she's been through. You think more sh people should step out and say, hey, you know, I've been, I have a problem and uh, I want to, I'm going to put it on the table. I'm definitely an advocate of people sharing their stories, but I don't necessarily feel like it always has to be public. Um, if it helps you heal, definitely. Yeah. Um, I definitely feel like the reason why we go through things is to help other people, or other mm -hmm. human beings with their conditions and their situations realize they're not alone. So you realized that there was a problem in our community mm -hmm. and you said, you know what, let me, let me find an outlet where I can, uh, I can try to help people. Right. Well, how, did, how did this happen for you? So, so besides knowing that statistic, right, um, I was on my own wellness and health journey and I realized like I'm a very active young person and I love doing yoga and I love eating green salads and I worked in Manhattan. Uh -huh. So I was like, do I not have this in my local community? Yeah. Do I not have this in the Bronx? And we've been asking some harder questions on the show. Like, you yeah. know, is it that we are just simply don't want to be healthy or is it the lack of resources and accessibility? And we ask some of those hard questions. And I also want to just highlight women of color in the wellness space. Because as a consumer of the wellness space, mm -hmm. when I go to different wellness events, honestly, I don't see women who look like me, sound like me, come, where, come from where I come from. Yeah. So, so they're not putting that type of, those type of healthy foods in our areas? You have to go to Manhattan mm -hmm. to get them? You don't see them around? In the I don't, Bronx? I haven't, like one of my favorite um, salad chains is like Sweet Green. I've asked several times why haven't they made their way to the Bronx? Uh -huh. And then I've ad asked the hard question. They also are one of the chains that don't take cash. And you know, the Bronx has a lot of residents that are still cash based. So I'm like, is that yeah. the reason? Um, considering that they pride themselves, or many, not just them, many salad chains pride themselves at, um, having produce from local farms, right? And local farms like upstate New York, yeah. Connecticut, Massachusetts. Last time I checked, those trucks have to go through the I-95 through right. the Bronx, mm -hmm. um, carrying that fresh produce. They keep going, huh? Yes. So you're dropping oh. all these fresh produce at these from these locally sourced farms that are closer to my home 
than these other avenues no. um, or these other places in New York City. You ever think about meeting with the head of the Bodega Association and say, hey, you know, let's put more healthy uh, foods in our area? That, that would be an option if you have that connection. <laughs> I'm so glad to connect and meet with people. And what would you tell them? Um, I would just, I would ask a lot of questions first because I, like, one thing I love about the show and what I do is because I'm not a wellness expert, my job is to align with wellness experts and hopefully no. create a team of people who have answers yeah, and solutions. let them talk. Let them talk about it. Let them help you create the awareness. Right. Yeah. And, and hopefully find solutions. That's mm -hmm. my ultimate goal, awareness and then having, you know, answers to the so the problem and that's the message of your program. Yeah, we, we highlight people and organizations that are helping Bronx residents mm -hmm. live a healthier life. You just started this, right? So this is, we just wrapped season one. Yeah. Uh, so we're actually entering season two. Um, uh -huh. Season two is going to be, you know, even more, we're going to talk more about mental health, um, more about relationships, family trauma. We're actually going to be talking about a lot about um, financial literacy, which I think is so important for our community. Like, I was talking to, like, some of my friends about having independent, like, um, investment portfolios. And then I realized some of them don't even have savings accounts. I was right. like, wait a minute. Hold up. We really have to talk about this in our community mm -hmm. because one of our biggest stressors is our finances. Yeah. And it's a broad spectrum of what you're talking about, but it's helping people. So yes. you can line all those things up. You know, mm -hmm. you can put it all together. So you're going to have, like, how many segments within your show? About four, three, four, five segments? So our show is a 29-based um, talk series. So what happens is I bring the guests on, and what I love about it is that we not only talk about the person and their job, but we also talk about their life. So we give, like, a human experience to the business because mm -hmm. so many times we hear about the small business, but we don't know what brought the person to that place. Yeah, yeah. So that's great. Mm -hmm. You know, big high five, big up to you and your team Thank putting you. this all together. When can we see it? So it comes on Wednesdays, every Wednesday mm -hmm. on channel 68 at 830 Eastern Standard Time. And you spread the word, huh? Yeah. Are you e-blasting everybody? Yeah, so e-blasting. <laughs> we're on Instagram. We're on um, Facebook. We're, I'm actually uploading it now to YouTube. Um, uh, so our Instagram is Healthy Living in the Bronx. Um, and people can find me at Mary Vin Rose um, on Instagram. And then my guys, my team, Prodigal Sun Media, is also on Instagram as well. Good. Give her a big round of applause, everybody. Mary Vin Rose, host, producer, Healthy Living in the Bronx. We thank you so much. Come back on, okay? Thank you. Share some good stuff with us. Appreciate that. Promise? Promise. All right. What are you eating? What do you have for breakfast? So what I have for breakfast normally... Um, it's usually oatmeal. Like, that's just the standard easy uh -huh. go-to. Um, if I need something a bit more protein-based, I will eat some eggs, some spinach, um, or I usually do a green juice. For lunch, it's usually some type of green salad, um, maybe with red quinoa or some wild rice, um, some type of protein, maybe, like, grilled shrimp. If I want, if I don't really want a meat, I might go, like, check peas, like, grilled or roasted check peas. Uh -huh. And for dinner, um, depending on how I'm feeling, more than likely, like, some salmon and some arugula. Arugula is a really good yeah. alkaline green. Yeah. It's really, like, one of those amazing health foods. You got to check out the Gourmet Express. Uh, I, the yeah, I go world. there every You go there? I, I oh, go there every man. Yeah, yeah, that's where I get my um, that's where, lunch detox green yeah, juice. Yeah, you can see a lot of stuff there. <laughs> Mary, thank you so much. And come back again, okay? And good luck with the show. Thank you. Hope to be back. All right. We have to take a, good, a quick break. But my man Bobby C is coming up with the Sports Roundup. Don't move a muscle. Kick off your shoes and relax your feet. We'll be right back.